السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأن محمدا عبده رسوله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت باركت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد وستاتت تفسير سورة الملك يستدي and we stopped at verse number five where we saw Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he was describing himself and the greatness of his creation. And most specifically, Allah is pointing us to the heavens he created <clears throat> and how strong and how firm and how great they are. And he says, he beautified the heavens with what? Huh? Bimasabih. And misbah is one, masabih are plural. Is a lamp because they illuminate the skies, the beautiful, the stars, Allah called them masabih. And the other function of the stars is also what? Allah says when we made the stars also their missiles against the shayateen. And we explain how. And we said there's a third also function of the stars, which is uh, navigation. Allah says, Abin Najmi. Uh, Abin Najmi. They guide themselves by stars, even today, with all the technology we have. So now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After he talked about those jinns and the creation of the heavens, Allah now brings us and the khitab, the message goes to the disbelievers, those in Makkah at the time and everywhere else until today. From verse number six, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, وَلِلَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِرَبِّهِمْ عَذَابُ جَهَنَّمَا وَبِئْسَ الْمَصِيرُ And as for those who are going to deny their Lord, those who do kufr of their Lord, الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِرَبِّهِمْ They rejected their Lord. What is the result? Meaning if they don't repent and they die on kufr, what is the result? What is the reward? Where are they going to end up? عَذَابُ جَهَنَّمْ The punishment of Jahannam, a blazing fire. عَذَابُ جَهَنَّمْ وَبِئْسَ الْمَصِيرِ And what an evil ending it is. What an evil place to end up in. There is Jahannam. It is not a good place. It is not a good place to end up in. If someone does not repent from rejecting the Lord in this world, then they end up in Jahannam. They end up in Jahannam. Now Allah describes this Jahannam. Now pay attention. إِذَا أُلْقُوا فِيهَا when these people, they are thrown inside that, that fire. So they're not taken there in a nice way. They are driven there and they're thrown into the hellfire. They will hear from this fire. This fire just does not burn only. Jahannam is a scary place. Inna Jahannam akanat mirsada. It actually ambushes you. It runs for you. Mirsada. It has been prepared for these people. لِلْتَوَغِينَ مَآبَ For the تَوَغِينَ Those who pass the limits, that is their place they will go. مَآبَ The ending place. لَابِثِينَ فِيهَا أَحْقَابَ They will end up there in أَحْقَابَ أَحْقَابَ is the plural of حُقْب حُقْب is 80 years in Arabic. So they'll end up in so many more 80 years is if that's the English you can use. Meaning they're staying there for you forever. لا يذوقون فيها بردا ولا شراب. It's just punishment and torment and punishment of the fire. They will never test their in any food or any drop of any drink. The only drink they'll get is what إلا حميما وغساقا. 
extremely hot boiling water and a ghassaq, thorns, which they eat and they cut them up as you chew them and you swallow them. It's just punishment. Allah says, Jaza'an wifaqan. There is an equal reward for what they used to do. Allah says here, now, there, that's how it is, it is described. In this surah, Allah describes Jahannam like this. إِذَا أُلْقُوا فِيهَا When these people are thrown therein, it is not just a punishment of the heat. It is not just a punishment that the fire runs after you. It's not just a punishment that there's no drink or food. Even the sound of that fire will scare you. And any of you who have seen big fires in this world, a fire has a roar to it. It has a sound which will scare you, it will make you run. Trust me on that. A fire roars. It has this growl like an evil beast. إِذَا أُلْقُوا فِيهَا When they're thrown in, سَمِعُوا لَهَا They will hear from Jahannam. سَمِعُوا They will hear from it. What? This is also a form of punishment. شَهِيقًا The terrible drawing in and out of its breath. It is as if it's breathing in and out angrily. وَهِيَ تَفُورُ And at the same time, it is what? It is blazing forth with a loud roar, with a loud growl. Just the sound makes you scared. It will terrify them. Jahannam is a punishment of every sense which you have as a human being. The sight of it, you have never seen anything more scary than Jahannam. The sounds of it, these are the sounds. The color of it, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allah created Jahannam and it was fire like the fire you know, red, orangish, yellowish. But it became so severe, Jahannam is black because it eats itself. It is a so, such a severe fire, it eats itself. It eats itself. It is so severe that Allah made for it a pressure release, if that's what you can call it. When the Prophet ﷺ, they came to him and asked him, the heat we suffer in summertime and the extreme cold, which you people can relate to here in Aura. And the Prophet ﷺ, he said in the authentic hadith, he said that is the pressure release Allah gives to the hellfire twice in a year. The extreme cold is from the extreme cold of Jahannam. And the extreme heat is from the heat of Jahannam. And he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Narukum Hadi, this fire you know in the world, the hottest fire human beings know today, this is just one out of 70 parts of the fire of Jahannam, Billah. Meaning it is 70 times multiplied in its heat. And that is why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also said, يُؤْتَى بِأَنْعَمْ رَجِلِ فِي الدُّنْيَا A person who used to have the greatest life in this dunya, all the fancy cars and all the beautiful women and all the fancy houses and everything, which me and you today we uh, gloat about on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube and movies, whatever, you think, oh, they have the life. But he's a kafir. He never believed in Allah. He will be brought on the day of Jahannam. For you, Umas, he'll be dipped. Just one time, he'll be dipped and taken out. Just like that. From there in the hellfire. And then he'll be asked, have you ever experienced any pleasures, enjoyments? And say, I've never seen enjoyments in my life. Just one dip will make him forget all of his life of enjoyment. Jahannam, it is... A scary thing. And that is what Allah told us. You have to fear Jahannam. From the three things Allah told you to fear, one is himself. Ittaqullah, fear Allah. Be dutiful to Allah. And the other thing Allah said you should fear is what? Fear that day. Fear that day. That day is 
severe day. Day of judgment, that is not an easy day. فَذَلِكَ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ يَوْمٌ عَصِيرٌ It's a difficult day. And then of the third thing Allah said he should fear is what? He used the word taqwa for his what? Jahannam. وَاتَّقُوا النَّارَ الَّتِي هُعِدَّتْ لِلْكَافِرِينَ Fear that fire. Allah has prepared it for the kafirin, but if you also sin, Allah is going to take you there. Allah says, لَيْسَ بِأَمَانِيِّكُمْ You won't go to Jannah because you wish, yeah, I'm a Muslim, I'm going to Jannah. لا. وَلَا أَمَانِيِّ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ Not by the wishful thinking of Ahl al-Kitab. The Christians, the Jews, they say we're going to Jannah. No? مَن يُؤْتَ مَا مَن مَن يَعْمَلْ سُوءًا يُجْزَ بِهِ Whoever does sins and does not repent, you're going to be punished for it. إِذَا أُلْقُوا فِيهَا سَمِعُوا لَهَا شَهِيقًا وَهِيَا Tafur, when they are cast therein, they will hear the terrible drawing in and out, the breathing of Jahannam, and it is roaring and, grow and growling. Takadu tamayyazu min al It is about to burst up and explode because of its fury and anger. It is a fire which has anger in it. La ilaha illallah. It has ghayb. And ghayb, as you know, is wrath, fury, extreme anger. Takadu tamayyazu min al It is about to explode out of the fury and the anger it has. كُلَّمَا أُلْقِيَ فِيهَا فَوْجٌ Every time a group are put therein. Every time a group are put therein. سَأَلَهُمْ خَزَنَتُهَا From the punishments, the people of the hellfire they will get also is what? They will be humiliated. They will be rebuked. They will be given words which will make them even regret more. Psychological punishment also, if you want to call it that. كُلَّمَا أُلْقِيَ فِيهَا فَوْجٌ Every time a group was put therein, سَأَلَهُمْ خَزَنَتُهَا The keeper of the hellfire, the angel in charge of the hellfire we discussed two days ago. His name is Malik. He will ask them, أَلَمْ يَأْتِكُمْ نَذِيرٌ How do you end up here? Did not there come to you a warner? The prophet of God did not come to you and warn you of this fire? Did he not warn you if you do sins, you're going to be punished? Did he not tell you this fire is something ferocious, it's angry? Did he not tell you that this fire is so ferocious, it's so evil, Jahannam, it breaks your bones? Allah calls it what? Hutama. It breaks your bones. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, when the kafir is put in the hellfire, Allah will make his body so big that his nail, your nail, it is like mountain Uhud. So that you can, so that they can feel the punishment. Kullama nadijat juluduhum baddalnaha juludana ghayraha liyazuku al-adhaba. And every time your skin is completely burnt off by the fire, and your flesh, Allah says, we put you know, new flesh and new skin on you. So you can enjoy the fire again and again. And that is what they will ask for death. And they'll be told there's no death. You have to fear Jahannam. You have to watch for the sins we do, my brothers. It's not something to play around with. It is not something to play around with. It is not so you have, you have to fear that. So the angel will ask them, did they not come to your warner? Alam yatikum? Nadir? Did not the warner come to you? How do you end up here? And they will respond and say what? Qalu, they say what? Bala. Of course. Of course. Qad ja'ana nadirun. The warner came to us. Whether it is Nuh, whether that is Hud, whether that is Salih, whether that is Shu'aib, whether that is Ibrahim, whether that is Lut, whether that is Musa, whether that is Harun or Yusha' bin Nun, whether that is Isa ibn Maryam, قَدْ جَاءَنَا نَذِيرٌ A warner came to us. And then of course Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All the prophets, they came with what? An nidhara to warn the people. If you don't believe, if you sin, this is what's going to happen to you. 
fakadhabna but we rejected the warner we rejected the message we denied it we made fun of it wa qulna in fact our response was to say what to the messenger and the warner wa qulna we said what ma nazzala allah min shay'in allah did not bring revelation you are not a prophet there's no message from god in antum illa fi dalal kabir all of those nations they said to their prophets you are the ones you are lost you are in deep loss you are lost what kind of life is this you have to wake up at 5 am to go pray what kind of life is this that your women have to get to be covered up what kind of life is this that you cannot drink and do whatever you want you guys are lost you need to change your life they did not just reject the message they rejected the message and then they spoke against it and said to the messengers and the muslims in antum fi dalalin you are the ones who are lost but then now they regret in the next ayah says what wa qalu and then they will say what law kunna nasma'u if only we used to hear aw naqilu or we used to have intellects we could think and understand ma kunna fi ashab as-sa'ir today we will not be people of the blazing fire they didn't have ears they didn't hear of course they had of course they could hear they didn't have minds of course they had minds but they could hear everything except the truth Allah says you'll see them they're looking at you but they don't see you and they're listening to you but they don't hear anything they don't understand am lahum qulub yafqahuna biha they don't have hearts which understand they don't Allah has sealed their hearts they wanted to understand everything of the world they know everything of the worldly life all the technologies and gadgets and science and cars and music and this and that but Allah's message no on the day of judgment they regretting they say only if we used our hearing in a nice way only if we used our hearts in the best way to understand the message today will not be people of the blazing fire ma kunna ha huh? fi ashab as-sa'ir will not be with these people the people of the sa'ir the blazing fire allah he says in verse number 11 fa atarafu bi dhambihim so now they confessed of their sins and their wrong doing the people of the halfa they will never blame allah they blame themselves and they blame the leaders who took them to the halfa that's it and they blame the shaitan and the shaitan says i just told you and allah also also brought your message but you chose to follow me don't blame me that's what the shaitan says to them wa qala shaitan lamma qudi al-amr in allah wa'adakum wa'ad al-haq wa wa'adtukum allah gave you the true promise and then i came and gave you my promise what did you do ah huh? فخلفتم you chose not to take allah's message to, to, to take my message فلا تلوموني ولوموا انفسكم don't blame me today blame yourselves ما انا بمصريخكم i cannot help you and you cannot help me yes and all those evil friends who tell you yeah let's go do this yeah let's go smoke yeah let's go watch what is haram yeah don't listen to your parents yes yeah, speak back yeah. everybody will run away from everybody fa'tarafu bi dhambihim they confess to their sins allah he says then what should we feel bad about them because now they confess no fa suhqan suhqan means let them stay there deep lost to them they are losers fa suhqan li ashab as-sa'ir there's no more now regret there's no more now tauba that's it Allah says wa hum yasta'tibuna fi in jahannam they ask Allah give us another chance rabbana arji'na oh Allah take us back na'mal ladhi na'mal ghayra ladhi kunna na'mal so we can do actions not the ones we did so we cannot deny the messenger we cannot make fun of the muslims Allah says awalam na'mirukum 
ما تذكر فيه من تذكر وجاءكم النذير didn't we not give you enough life that the one who lives that many years would think you are 18 years old you are 20 years old you are 50 years old you are 60 years old that's enough life for you to think on top of that وجاءكم النذير and the one who came to you so today فذوقوا test the, the punishment test the fire فما للظالمين من نصير the ظالمون the wrong doers nobody can help them فاعترفوا بذنبهم فسحقا لاصحاب السعي don't be told away don't even talk to me jahannam is a very scary place jahannam is a scary place and it is good that we are discussing this ayat today it is ramadan alhamdulillah alhamdulillah by the permission of allah our hearts are softer now our iman is up it is ramadan today is what huh yeah. yeah. where are you guys living 19th today Today is the 10th of Ramadan. Wow. Today is the 20th of Ramadan. Today is the 20th of Ramadan. Meaning inshallah if Allah gives us life until Maghrib, the last 10 nights of Ramadan are starting today. It will be the night of the 21st. It could be Laylatul Qadr. Like I told you yesterday, these are the nights you push. These are the days you push more. It's not the time to get tired. We don't get tired. We're not getting tired. It's the time you push more. Ibn al-Jawzi, rahimahullah, he has this beautiful word. He says, Inna al-khayla dha sharafat nihayat al-madmar. The race horses, once they do their circuit and they're about to see the finish line, بذلت قصارى جهدها بذلت they put what قصارى جهدها they put the last strenuous energy to go and finish first لتفوز بالسباق so it can be the winner فلا تكون الخيلة أفضل منك أو أفضل منك don't let the horse be smarter than you you can see the finish line now this is the time you push more we're going to do fajr every day another dars you're going to pray Dhuhr in Jama'ah, inshallah. You're going to read your Quran. You're going to do your Dua. You're going to give charity every day. You're going to do a lot of dhikr. You're going to call or message your parents every day. If they're not alive, you make Dua for them. You'll pray Maghrib in the Masjid. You'll have Iftar. You'll pray Tarawih. And you make Dua for yourself until the Imam finishes. Then you're going to have another Dars. And then you're going to make Dua for yourself. And then you're going to pray Qiyamul Layl. And we'll do it again. Ten nights, ten days. That's what we're going to do. This is the time you rush. One night is better than what? A thousand what? Months. Ten nights is okay. You can push. Man hurima khayraha. The Prophet said that night is special. Whoever is prevented from its specialty and from its goodness, from its reward, fahuwa al-mahroom. That is someone Allah does not want good for you. So you push yourself. If you push, Allah wants you. We are here already. You think it's 19th? This is the 20th day. Tonight, inshallah, if you're alive, you're starting the last 10 nights of Ramadan. It could be Laylatul Qadr. You're going to push. Are we going to push or not? فَاعْتَرَفُوا بِذَنْبِهِ فَسُحْقًا لِأَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ And then on the other hand, Allah always, when He mentions people of Jahannam, Allah gives us hope. It's always about what we say. Fear and hope. Fear and hope. That is how we worship Allah. Allah, he says on the other hand, verse number 11, huh? what does he say? Verse number 12, Afwan. Inna al-lazina yakhshawna rabbahum bil-ghaybi. Lahum maghfiratun wa ajrun kabir. And look here, Allah, he did not say, did not say just those who do good. No, there's a special level. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَخْشَوْنَ رَبَّهُمْ Those who fear their Lord بِالْغَيْبِ 
when it's private between you and Allah. Not when it's private, you do whatever else you want. Even when it's private, you say, you know what, I'm not going to sin. I fear Allah. I'm going to do more ibadah even when I'm taking a break. It's just me and myself. I'm not going to sin. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ أَخْشَوْنَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَيْبِ Those who fear their Lord in private and in public more. Because in public, most of us, we feel shy to do sins, right? People are going to see us. We're doing it for Allah, yes, but, you know, people are going to see us. What if it's just you and the sin? It's right in front of you. Allah praise the people who they fear Him in private. What does Allah now promise them after He praise them? Lahum maghfiratun. Allah forgives them their small sins. Even when they do small sins, Allah forgives them. Wa ajrun kabir, and they shall have a great reward. Kabir. Their reward is great. And you see the connection. The kuffar, they used to say to the believers, the prophets and the believers who followed them, in antum illa fi dolalin, kabir. It makes it easy for those of you who are memorizing, by the way. They said, you are in a great misguidance. Allah says, no, they are in a great reward. They are in a great reward. This is the world we live in today. Where the disbelievers, they make fun of the believers. And you have to stay firm. Allah told us this is going to happen. This happened before. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ أَجْرَمُوا كَانُوا مِنَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا يَضْحَقُونَ Those were the wrongdoers, the transgressors. They used to laugh to the, at the believers. Look at them with their beards. Look at them with not drinking alcohol. Look at them and not doing this. Look. وَإِذَا مَرُّوا بِهِمْ يَتَغَامَزُونَ And they pass by you as a Muslim, they tell each other, look, they're wearing these clothes. وَإِذَا انْقَلَبُوا إِلَىٰ أَهْلِهِمْ انْقَلَبُوا فَاكِهِينَ They go back to their families, they're happy, they feel they're better than you. And then what? More than that. Huh? وَإِذَا رَاهُمْ قَالُوا إِنَّ هَاؤُلَاءِ when they see the believer like you, they say, look at these people. They're so lost. They still live back in the centuries of before. They're not civilized. But Allah says what? Huh? It's not their job to look at you. What is your job that you now as a Muslim? It's for you to have sabr and be patient and carry on practicing your Islam. That is why that day now, this is what we're discussing. We're discussing Yom Al-Qiyam. Allah says, فَالْيَوْمَ الَّذِينَ uh, آمَنُوا مِنَ الْكُفَّارِ يَضْحَكُونَ Today, in my Akhirah now, you're going to Jannah as a believer, and they're going to the helper, and now you laugh at them. عَلَى الْأَرَائِكِ يَنْظُرُونَ And you're sitting on the Araik. Al-Arika is a huge throne. Throne, proper chair, just yours. Made of all the pearls and diamonds and whatever else you want. And you're laughing at the kuffar who used to laugh at you in this world. And Allah says what? Now the kuffar, have they not got their reward? And the answer is yes. And this is what is going to happen. So be patient. Hold on to your deen. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying, Sayati alaykum zamanun. القابض على دينه كالقابض على الجمر. They'll come to your time. The one who holds on just to be a good, uh, it's not even a, just to be a basic Muslim. You're just praying five times and fasting Ramadan. It's like holding on to a hot coal of fire, burning coal. But hold on. Because this is the end. Jahannam is an evil place. You don't want to go to Jahannam. You want to end up in Jannah. And Allah says, they laugh at you, don't worry. They cannot harm you. عَلَى الْأَرَائِكِ يَنْظُرُونَ But yourselves, ourselves, you have to be the people who إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَخْشَوْنَ رَبَّهُمْ Those people who fear their Lord بِالْغَيْبِ Even in private. Even in private. The last ten days are here. This is the time. Look how Ramadan flew. 
20 almost gone. 20 nights are gone. It's just the 20th day now. And it's going to end. It's going to end. You know what we think of though? Most of us, we think that Ramadan is going to end. No, Ramadan never ends until Yawm al Qiyamah. But me and you, we end. Me and you, we die. If we die today, Ramadan is still coming next year unless Yawm al Qiyamah comes. People are going to fast. And those who will waste that opportunity, they will die also. Ramadan is going to come. Your time is your most important capital. Do your best. Just do your best. Everybody knows their ability. Just do your best. The least you can do is make sure you're not sinning. Whatever ibadah is easy for you, that's what you should do. Like I said yesterday, for me, let's say it's easy for me to read Quran, even three, four, five hours. Read your Quran. For me, it's easy. Just salah. I like to pray. Pray Taraweeh. Pray Qiyamul Layl also. As long as one witr in the night, like we say, that's it. You only pray one witr, not two witrs. For me, it's easy. I can just sit and um, study Islam properly. That is higher. For me, it's easy. I like spending the whole night. I'm a volunteer. I'm helping the Muslims make sure their ibadah is good. I'm a volunteer in the masjid. You are someone who's doing a lot of great. Wallahi. We don't appreciate the volunteers, the work they do. If it is not for Allah and then them, there will be chaos. For me, alhamdulillah, Allah has put for me the love of charity giving. I'm going to make sure these nights I give. I've put aside a hundred dollars for every night. A hundred times ten is what? A thousand. Business with Allah, you never fail. Okay, it's a lot. I just put a hundred dollars in total. Every day I'm giving ten dollars. That is a lot. That's a lot with Allah. I'll make sure every night I give sadaq. For me, it's easy to do just a lot of dhikr. I'll sit after tarawih and just do dhikr all night long. And then make dua. For me, I'll make sure these last 10 nights, I buy my mother and my dad a gift every day just to make them happy. al muhim what is most important is what? You're just in ibadah. You might take a small break. Yes, you go back to it. The nights are not even long. The night is not even long. When does the night kick in? When does it start? What the time, what time is Maghrib? 6.45. Yes, something like that. 7.40. Oh, it's before daylight savings. 7.40. And Fajr comes at? 5. How many hours are those? 10 hours, 9 hours, 20 minutes, just 9 hours, 20 minutes, and that's if you include Maghrib, right? If you want to go for Isha, then take out another hour, an hour and a half, not even 10 hours. What is 10 times 10? 100 hours. You invest in 100 hours, Allah gives you what? How many hours? Is Laylatul Qadr. Hours, Habib. Do the math. Our mathematician is not here today. Al Bahr is not here today. Huh? Use your calculate. How many hours? Are you sure? It is how many days fast? It is 1,000 months. 1,000 months times 30 is what? 30,000. 30,000 times 24. 3, 4, 2. 72, 720,000 hours. 720,000 hours. Allah says, give me 100 hours. I will give you 720,000. What business is that? That you invest 100, you get 720,000. Only business with Allah. Allah says, Inna Allah ashtara min al mu'minina anfusahum wa amwalahum bi anna lahum al jannah. Allah has purchased from you yourself that you push yourself to ibadah and your wealth that you give for Allah's sake. And Allah is going to give you what? 
his Jannah. You are doing business with Allah. Allah says, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ تَلُونَ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ And then watch. وَأَقَامُ الصَّلَاةَ And then, وَأَنْفَقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ سِرًّا وَعَلَانِيًا يَرْجُونَ تِجَارَةً لَنْ تَبُورُ Allah says, indeed those who recite the book of their Lord, and they establish their prayer, and they give in charity, openly and secretly, they are the people who are wishing and hoping, sorry, for the what? For the tijara, the business which never goes in a loss. The business with Allah. Ya ayyuha alladhina amanu, o you who believe, hal adullukum ala tijaratin tunjikum min adhabin alim. We talked about how Jahannam is severe. Allah says, all you who believe, should I not tell you and teach you and guide you to a tijara business? The end of it is what? It is going to save you from a painful punishment. That is why you do business with Allah. فَمَنْ زُحْزِحَ عَنِ النَّارِ وَأُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةَ فَقَدْ فَعَزْ Whoever is saved from the hellfire, Allah says, Zuhziha is pulled out of the hellfire, he doesn't go there. And then he's entered into Jannah, entered by Allah. That is the person who has succeeded. And the life of this world is just enjoyment and waste of time. 100 hour challenge, hashtag that from today. For yourself. The Prophet ﷺ, when these nights came, uh, he would not sleep. I told you this two days ago, this is the only night a Muslim is recommended not to sleep at all. The whole night. If you can, if you have work, you try your best, you sleep a few hours, you go to work. Not just that, and he'll also wake up his wife and his children. Wake up. These are not nights of sleeping. Go do ibadah. Yeah, you're the man, you're responsible. You're responsible. So we are here. We have come to that time. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the strength to worship Him in the best way. And we ask Allah to give us al-ikhlas.